Art Goes to School of the Delaware Valley. This educational program is brought to you by Art Goes to School, making fine art accessible to elementary school students since 1962. Madame Lebrun and her daughter, Julie. Lesson highlights, portraiture, specifically self-portrait, 18th century female artist, 18th century style, and European geography. Madame Lebrun and Elizabeth Louise Vigie Lebrun, Madame Vigie Lebrun and her daughter, Julie. This painting was created in 1789 and is found at the Louvre in Paris, France. Elizabeth Louise Vigie Lebrun, also known as Madame Lebrun, is considered by many to be the most important French female artist of all time. She painted over 600 portraits of wealthy patrons, including Queen Marie Antoinette, who appreciated her ability to depict subjects in a flattering, elegant style. Our painting is a self-portrait of the artist in a warm embrace with her daughter, Julie. On the left, we see another self-portrait of Madame Le Brun doing what she loves, painting. What would you paint yourself doing in a self-portrait? Elizabeth Vigie Le Brun was chosen as the official court painter to Marie Antoinette, Queen of France, and painted more than 30 portraits of the queen and her family. Le Brun was appreciated for her loose brushwork and fresh, vibrant colors. She always painted her subjects in a flattering style, posed gracefully, wearing the most stylish clothing of the time. On the left, we see a portrait, Queen Marie Antoinette and her four children. On the right, another portrait by Le Brun of the Queen Marie Antoinette with a rose. Have you ever been to a wedding or watched a fancy event on TV? What did people wear? How are the styles today different? How are they similar? Madame Le Brun's self-portrait with Julie was painted in 1789, the year of the French Revolution. Le Brun's close relationship to the royal family forced her to flee Paris into exile. During that period, she traveled to Italy, Russia, Austria, and London, painting for the aristocracy in those countries. Ten years later, her citizenship was restored and she returned to France. We see four portraits by Le Brun painted during her travels. In the center, a map of Europe. Can you find the countries where these portraits were made? Below, we see our word wizard fact. Exile is the situation of a person who is forced to leave his or her own country, usually for political reasons. Vigie Le Brun's self-portrait with Julie is quite informal, casual, compared to her royal subjects, and extremely sensitive. Here, the love and affection of a mother and daughter is the focus. We see pleasure in a mother's eyes in response to the sweet, intimate embrace of her child. In blue, we're asked, do you have a favorite picture of yourself with a loved one? Why is it special to you? In red, we read, if you could give this painting as a present, who would you give it to and why? On our final slide for Madame Le Brun and her daughter, Julie, we have an art history and geography challenge. You see a map of European countries, but this time the map is not labeled. In the middle, we have a list of Le Brun's travels during her time in exile. In blue at the bottom of the slide, we find our challenge. 
print out the map above and fill out as many European countries as you can. Be sure to include the countries where Vigie Le Brun traveled and painted. Use our first map as a guide. I hope you enjoyed our Art Goes to School portfolio presentation. For more information on Art Goes to School, how to become a volunteer, or how to share our program with others, please go to our website at www.artgoestoschool.org. Thank you.